Ron says a pirate's life for me. One of these days, uh, I'll get around to trying the. I might try pirates uh, on one of my like new game plus modes. Oh, I need to stash all that helium. Hang on, let me do that before we go anywhere, because I will forget. And I'm carrying a ton of helium. Talk to me. I don't want to talk to you, Barrett. Leave me alone. There we go. God, I'm still 238. What the heck, man? Oh, because I've got weapons and stuff I picked up. Here's your beer. Burp, burp, burp. Excuse me. We're free and clear for flight. All right, we are back to Sidonia, aren't we? craving for waffles or pancakes or something. This is UC security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Scan complete. You're cleared to land. Thank you very much. Give me to Sedonia. Uh, team waffle or team pancake? I think it just depends on the day. Because either one are really good. And also, not to be shirked for consideration would be a good crepe. French toast, any of that stuff, man. I think my go-to would have to be just either banana pancakes, because I do make a mean banana pancake, or just some good old simple waffles with salted butter and delicious maple syrup, or blueberry syrup, or raspberry syrup. I'm, I'm not really, don't really care, I just like syrup, man. Hmm, let's sell uh, weapons. Ooh, I've never seen one of these before. That is a cool looking, it's a particle beam pistol. Wow. Dude, I might hold on to that just for cosmetic purposes. taking up space too okay well, we can we're asking right everyone now. to take care of any lead bunch of crap I just need to sell off. I'm gonna store that for now too. Dude, Mrs. Butterworth is pretty good. It's on their ships. We don't want any terror storming through here. Don't knock until you try it, kid. 
Uh, Chris's favorite breakfast place of all time is IHOP. So we have gone, especially when we lived in the city, um, when we first moved there, um, we were living in the south part of town before we found our permanent home there. And there was an IHOP right around the corner, and I think we went every day for like three three weeks or something. Uh, she loves she loves her pancakes. Ironically, she does not like donuts. I love donuts. Um, but she's not a huge donut fan. She likes some donuts, but not all donuts. Whereas I will like happily numb any and all donuts that you place in front of me. Go up to the donut. Consumptioner, consumer, consumptor. Dude, Waffle House has some of the best, like, go in and get, like, pancakes or waffles with a couple of fried eggs over easy, some bacon hash browns. That Waffle House. Just heads up. 24 hour coffee. I haven't been to a Denny's in a long time. I remember when we moved to Colorado, there wasn't really a lot of Denny's. It was mostly, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, something in Family Inn? Country Inn? Country Kitchen? No, Country Kitchen was a different chain. I can't remember what it was called now. But you could go in and get, like, in the mornings, you would get these amazing breakfasts. They had all sorts of different things, breakfast burritos, everything else. Um, and then at lunch, getting their cheeseburgers and fries were just... Mm. I worked construction for years and years and years. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. Lived I'm busy. off of diners and donuts and coffee and cigarettes and... There's some good eats out there, man. Looking for you. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? I don't mind grits from time to time, but I do prefer my taters. I like I like hash browns. I like grits too. Grits are good though. A um, little bit of butter, a little bit of salt. I just think breakfast breakfast foods are I like breakfast, man. I could eat breakfast twenty four hours a day, not a problem. Glazed donuts. Remember donut holes? Like remember when I was a kid my mom would we'd go in to get groceries like a couple times a month, mom would always go buy a, a Dunkin' Donuts and get, you know, like a dozen donut holes for my my brothers and sister and I. Years and years ago. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. If you can't handle it, point me to someone who can. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. All right, here's a thousand credits. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. Hmm, how nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. That, wait, 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 wait. Can't get out that door. Get out of the way, Sarah. You're blocking my access point. People always ask me what I think about mine. Yeah. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. 
give him a sample. Such so as that you can help move some of this stuff. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Good question just popped up over on YouTube. Uh, Heretic asks, do you prefer your character having a voice or to be silent? And that depends on the type of game we're playing. Because I'll tell you what, one of the things that I got very frustrated with in Rogue Trader was the fact that it had thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of lines of dialogue, none of which were voiced. And we were coming off of Baldur's Gate 3, which was fully voiced. And the transition was so abrupt and so just, you know, after 60 plus episodes, my throat was just destroyed because I was trying to play three or four hours a day. And you're just talking. You're just literally reading walls and walls and walls of text to the stream as you're uh, playing. Hello. I, don't I eventually got to the point where in the last like 10 or so episodes I did, I just started paraphrasing what was being what I was reading on screen. I was like, I'm done reading all of this dialogue. So. If it is a dialogue heavy game that is not fully voiced, I much prefer them to voice the fucking character. But of course, if they don't have the budget for a voice, uh, it sucks. Um, when it's something like this, I have no problem doing, you know, I'm not doing voices right now. I'm just reading the text, but like you can go back. Um, if you go back and watch my Lord of the Rings online playthroughs for over the years, I do a lot of voice acting in Lord of the Rings online. Um, and have a lot of fun doing so. But in games like this, I much prefer, it doesn't matter to me whether my character's voiced or not, because I'm really, better not be I have a like line me. of dialogue that doesn't really matter. So it's just, you know, if I had to pick between this and like Cyberpunk 2077 in terms of style, I'm gonna go with the Cyberpunk 2077 style, where you have a fully voiced NPC, um, and you are controlling the actions of that NPC, but you are, you know, the lines of dialogue are spoken by them because there is some really talented voice acting at play in Cyberpunk. Um, here, it's I'm fine with the way it is. I really don't have a preference too much as long as I'm not expected to read thousands of lines of dialogue on screen. Right down to business and no small talk. I like it. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? Uh, lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. All right, get it done. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. I went into the bathroom, so I'm not paying attention where I was running. Somebody said pick up a slate behind him. I think I may have, I, I may have already here. read the slate. Get my money from Carl, or get out of my face. Or maybe face. not. Neva, sit down, have a drink. So, smooth jump into the soul system. You see security hassle you. Cut the crap, Adeline. Let's make this quick. There's only so long I can stand a sink of minor sweat and stale beer. Okay, okay, take it easy. Let the fleet kick back, just like I promised. What is this bullshit? This is half. Half of what you promised. No reason to get upset, sweetie. Security around Sidonia's been cracking down, and it's tough to get the demo smocks to play ball. That means I'm spending big on bribes, covering lost shipments. This isn't exactly like running a pharmacy out here, you know. Two things, Adler. And I will make this simple enough so even a total imbecile like yourself can understand. One, 
The sake of a damn about your excuses, you owe us the agreed amount on time every month. And two, you call me sweetie ever again. And I'll shove my knife so far up your ass that people will mistake you for a unicorn. Neva, wow. Hey, uh, okay, sorry, Neva. I'll make it work. Here's the rest. <laughs> That's more like it. I'll see you in a month. Neva, Neva, Neva. One tough cookie. Faith in God is what brought us to the stars. Twenty years ago, I moved to Sidonia on a whim. Never thought I'd stay for as long as I have. Something I can help you with? Yeah, buddy. Here to collect the credits you owe. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? You know, he's pretty serious about the debt, so I suggest you pay quickly. Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Go back and tell Adler you said that. Adler, uh, Adler. Adla. Oh, wait. You mean that Adla? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Demos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah. I don't think Adler's gonna be satisfied with that option, buddy. Uh, well. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. Hmm. Promise to stop borrowing for Adler. I'll pay the debt off for you. It's 3,000 credits. Why not? How about why are you hurting so badly for credits? <sighs> I'm a miner for Deimos. It's not what I was hoping for out of life, but here I am. Yeah, it's a lousy company. It pays me a salary, but I depend on the profit-sharing bonuses to keep food on the table for my family. All right. Um, I don't think it doesn't really matter. Let's just promise to pay it off. Holy crap! Really? You'd do that for me? Wow. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. All right. This is right where I belong. With my bed. Being a miner is dreary. I like how the posters stay up that you put up with the kid. It's kind of cool, little unicorn posters. Do your part to keep Sidonia graffiti free. While Sidonia free. City Ordinance 5.82 concerning graffiti, street art, and vandalism is still in effect, a permit has been retroactively granted for the artists behind the Space Frog posters. Speaking of the, speaking of the Space Frog posters. The Have something for me? I do. There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. Are credits easy he to earn? To be a problem oh, yeah. anymore? Or did he get the message? You do have to be conscious of, you know, like if you want to get credits, you're going to have to work for it. Like it doesn't just fall out of the sky. Like. You want to earn credits you got to go run side missions you want ammo you know best place to find ammo is running missions on planets um, you want ship parts and things to you know 
but for your ship, you should be doing space combat stuff. Um, it's it's kind of all relevant to what you want to do and how you want to play. Um, but I've never found credits to be overly difficult to earn, no. Heretic has been thinking about getting the game, but I don't know if I should wait for this expansion. That's a personal decision that only you can make. Nice. If you've got time nice. to play and you want to play a good You're game that's going to give you a few hundred like hours of gameplay, Leaning on and you like Bethesda titles, then Starfield like is that. probably something you would enjoy. You know, um, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. There's a lot, a lot here. More. You think you can handle running with my uh, associates? If you think they can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken it did care take of me a while Aurora to save up for my ship. For too. My ship Don't was like 260,000 credits. Um, it took me probably a week. Like like six or seven days of saving everything I earned over the course of like a week to get to that point where I could buy the ship. Once I bought the ship, I haven't needed credits anymore since then. Um, and I now have, I'm up to 61,000 credits, which is not a ton, um, but I don't need to buy anything. I've already got like, I've got the guns that I'm gonna use probably for the rest of the game until I get some legendaries that are better. Um, I've modded all of them the way I want them, so I'm happy with them so far. I've got my spacesuits modded with like the tier one mods, um, and I'm pretty content with, with the look and feel of my character. Um, I'm very happy with the ship I bought. I was 260,000 credits, and now I'm just working on. Literally, the only thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm doing quests to get skill points to complete my spacesuit design to rank four and to get down here to special projects so that I can unlock the fourth tier of weapon mods to finish modding my weapons. And then I'm going to get into, based on the vote that's going on today on YouTube, uh, people want me to get into engineering, uh, the outpost engineering. So I'll probably start to dabble in outpost engineering. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me to finish up all the weapon mods and space, space suit mods that I want to do first. And the other consideration, like Ron was just saying, you'd be waiting until the fall. The DLC is still months away. If you're looking to sink your teeth into the game and get a solid playthrough before the patch happens, now would be the perfect time because this can easily be something where you spend a couple of months. It just depends on how you play the game. My first playthrough was 350 hours. I am 60 plus in this playthrough. Um, I This probably won't... I don't know if this will turn into a 300 plus hour one because I do have to go to the office on the 9th of June, a Vanguard a long time. and I won't be taking the, the Xbox with me. So it's just kind of going to depend on where I get by that point. But I do want to um, have a new game plus mode ready and waiting for the new expansion. So even when I get back, I'll continue. What I'm hoping right now is the ideal thing is I'm going to wrap this up right before I go, and then during the time that I'm out of the office, I'll be playing. Um, I'll be going and finishing my Rogue Trader playthrough. I think we're 75 episodes into that or something, um, and I just stopped because of the bugs and the performance stuff, and that was back in December, so they've had plenty of time to patch, and I've heard good things. Um, so that'll probably be what we do in June after I wrap up the Starfield playthrough. Rendezvous. I untracked the quest. That was my bad. All right, I'm gonna hold off on traveling until I hit the head. I will be right back.
Let's keep on keeping on. The moment you start seeing people wow. making rage bait videos over games they've never played before, right that's the moment you know that you don't need to pay attention to those negative naysayers and you should just go play the game if you think it looks cool. Because I'll tell you what, Starfield has one of the, I don't know why this hey, is, just answer the damn soul. it has Next one shot. of the most I hear Adela vocal you're good enough to join our crew. minority groups who love to pick on people for enjoying Starfield. And it has, a, I don't know how this was, but there was a ton of YouTubers and streamers who just piled on this hyperbolic vitriol against Starfield when they never even played the game. This is when it launched. Oh, I'm not going to play it because of these reasons. And those reasons were things that people either made up and invented or took out of context or blew out of proportion and created this. You know, we were talking about this in the other stream. There have been people coming on my videos saying they're so happy that they're finally seeing positive Starfield content because they've been playing the game in secret having fun but they haven't been willing to tell their friends that they've been having fun because their friends hate Starfield and their friends you know tell them they're an idiot for playing Starfield it's like man fuck those people get better friends like like if it looks fun play it it's always been that way if a video game looks fun to you play it don't base your happiness off of someone else's opinion especially if that opinion is like this game sucks because of these five reasons, but I've never actually played the game. That bullshit needs to be cold. Completely. Adler said that? I didn't know he cared. <laughs> You're funny. I hate funny. Remember that. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Ragana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. All right. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. Oh, honey. You're flirting so hard. <laughs> 